ladies and sexy mofos, this is your boy Venomy here, I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another Is It Worth It video on one of my new favourite cars from this summer special update on GTA Online. This one is called the BF Club, I'm honestly in love with this car. But straight off the bat, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, straight off the bat, I will say this is a compact car, it's not a sports category car or anything. Don't be expecting to race in this sort of vehicle or anything like that. You can pick this car up for just under 1.3 million which is quite a lot of money but obviously depending on how many businesses you have you might be able to make 1.3 million very very quickly so to you it might not be that much in my personal recommendation I do think it's a little bit overpriced but that is arguable with every car in the game when it comes to the customization, the things you can do to this I will be showing you in the video check it out for yourselves I'm absolutely in love with this car. It's definitely not a racing vehicle. I wouldn't go onto any GTA races or anything like that. Once again, this is a show more than go car. It's just something you take to a car meet. Just something you'd cruise around the map with your friends or just chill in or something like that. Or once again, if you're a car guy, it's just one of those cars that you would want to add to your collection. It is amazing. You definitely have to check it out for yourselves and drive it for yourselves. If you don't have the money or if you have the money and you're not quite sure, message me on Xbox and obviously join my session. I'll call it out for you through the mechanic and you can drive it around before you buy it. And then at least you know you can try before you buy. I did notice as well, this is one of those cars that does get slanted when you lower the suspension which does affect the performance. I wouldn't slant it all the way, I wouldn't fully lower it, it's not worth it. You can just see the wheels go in, yeah it looks nice for obviously car meets and everything like that, but performance and handling wise it does kill the car depending what you want to use the car for. If you actually want to cruise around the map, get into a cop chase or something like that, you would want to get the most out of it. So I would recommend maybe street or lowered suspension or just keep it normal. But if you did want to go to a car meet, then yeah, slam it down all the way. Um, that is your choice, but my personal recommendation, just uh, since it is a compact car, it's not the fastest car in the game. Obviously, there's loads and loads of different cars that will outdo this. Uh, even fully upgraded, even not even fully upgraded. This isn't a quick car. So just keep that in mind when you do end up, if you do end up buying this car. It's not a quick car. You're getting it mainly for the looks, for car meets, chill with your friends just to add another car to your collection. It's not like the prior where you're gonna be outgunning people like hell, like speeding, double clutching through the map. It's not that sort of car, but it is extremely fun to drive and to play with and just to crash around. Even as a show and go car, it is nice to have. It's just one of those cars that if you are a car guy like myself, you would want it in your garage just to show it off, especially with the latest update in GTA, you can have another garage anyway, so why not? If you can squeeze it in, then why not? But when it really comes down to it, is it worth it? Well, if you do have over 1.3 million, then definitely. If you have like 5, 10 million and you have an extra car slot, definitely buy it. You won't regret it, it is so fun to drive and it looks amazing. But if you have, I'd say about 2 million, enough to buy it and fully upgrade it. Because all in all, about 1.3 million for the car, and I'd say about 200,000 to 300,000 on upgrades. So you're going to be looking at about 1.5, 1.6 million for it. Which, okay, fair enough, isn't a load of money. But it will kill your bank account and you will be broke for a little while. So would it be worth it? Obviously not. If you really are strapped for cash, then don't worry about buying it whatsoever. It's not one of those cars that you would desperately need, need. 
Um, like I said myself, it's if you're a car guy, if you like your cars, and you've got the money, then definitely buy it, because you will have fun driving it around. But it's not the type of car that I would say make yourself go from millionaire to literally struggling to pay your mechanic. I would not make you recommend make yourself go broke just to buy this car, but if you do have the spare money, then definitely give it a go. It's a load of fun. But I'm going to wrap this video up here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. I'm going to leave you all with the rest of the gameplay, but I love every single one of you, and I'll see you all in the next video.